Steve Price, host of Australia Today, of course, on the listener app and the Triple M network, passionate Victorian. So, Andrew's just, but no one anywhere near 50%. And last time I checked, you need that to become the Premier. Like you, I can't work out how 28% of people sit in that room and can't make up their mind. <laughs> I've got to say, I've rarely seen two blokes who hate each other so much pretend to like one another. That's what we saw during that hour, which was quite extraordinary. And I described Dan Andrews tonight, Paul, as being handbrake Dan. You could just tell he's like when you take a, a rabid dog to a park and you got it on a tight lead. You know that if you let the dog off the lead, it's going to run around and attack somebody. That's what Dan Andrews, to me, felt like. He was desperate to have a real crack at Guy, but didn't do it. And, and I think the, the Sky poll probably accurately reflects how it went. Although I think Matthew Guy smashed it out of the park on health. He Absolutely. talked about upgrading hospitals around the state of Victoria, spending money on joints that have got mice in them and are leaking. I think that really resonates. And I think we're going to see a much closer result Saturday night than we ever dreamed of about a week ago. Yeah, I mean, remember where we were four years ago? We're talking about African gangs. There were even plans about, you know, compulsory yeah. sort of, you know, ways to toughen up kids, all the rest of it. So, again, if everything seems as normal... If the lefties of, of the teals and the greens back in, Andrews finds a way to keep going. But if he doesn't, unlike being shocked, part of the strategy of the Liberal Party here, and, and it disappoints people who wanted to see a giant fight, but they basically, I don't want to say labour light, but they essentially went, OK, how do we beat them on health? Well, we're going to spend way more and there's failures on things like ambulances. How do we deal with public transport? OK, we're not going to build the suburban rail loop, but what about this for the millions of people who live inside metro areas? They've done a few... Uh, the whole strategy was that the campaign doesn't become about Andrews changing the subject to, can you imagine this guy in power? I think that's the reason why it's closer than you would think, because if the Liberals had taken a particularly aggressive stance to this, you know how the media would have treated it, and the I stand with Dan crowd, well, we know how they can behave, even when people are being locked in their houses for no good reason. Yeah, it was funny. This debate was held in Box Hill, down the roads, a hospital where they've had people sleeping and being treated in tents out the front, Paul, because there's no beds inside emergency. So I thought that was ironic that that was down the road. Also, it's also the site of the first of these rail stations on this loopy suburban rail loop, which is no one knows what it's going to cost, probably $160 billion for the first stage of it. And I don't know one Victorian who wants to go from Cheltenham to Box Hill. It's nowhere to nowhere. I mean, it just does make no sense. Daniel Andrews has got a real weakness on that, I think. He kept saying that Matthew Guy had promised, you know, $30 billion in spending compared to his 15. But as Matthew Guy said, well, hang on a minute, you haven't actually factored in the suburban rail loop costs. I mean, I, I think it was a very polished performance by Matthew Guy. I thought it was a very restrained performance by Daniel Andrews. And I think everyone who watched that tonight would have gone away thinking, well, either of these guys could probably lead. But there's one thing here that didn't come out tonight, and that was no question to Daniel Andrews about the way Victorians were treated during COVID. 100%. And, and people sitting at home watching Sky tonight would have gone, well, hang on, Mr Andrews. You might be nice to Mr Guy tonight, but you're the bloke who shut our playgrounds down. You're the bloke who wouldn't let us go more than 5Ks from home. You're the bloke who said, don't go outside and watch the sunset. Don't put, take your masks off and you can't drink beer with a straw. So, you know, people are watching Andrews tonight. They remember that stuff, and I think that's going to have a bigger impact on Saturday than most people realise. Also, can I just put a pin in this for everyone who talks about politics for a living? The seat of Narakan, where the uh, Nationals candidate uh, took his own life. Now, that seat will not be decided on Saturday night. It is one that traditionally leans towards the Liberal Party. People still have to vote, but they're only voting in the Upper House. Could you imagine the statistical importance of a do-over, an extra time election, if this thing is as close as it may be? Wait, watch and see. Steve, we'll listen to you in the morning as always, mate. Thank you. Cheers, Paul.